here we are, sunny Silverstone. Use all the track that you can and the exit kerb as well onto the start finish straight and the run up towards turn one. Don't lift off, come qualifying, you know you've got the car there for you with all that downforce. Slow it all down now though, into the new loop section, turn three and into turn four. Very easy to lock up the inside front wheel as it goes unloaded through that left hander. And watch out for the rear stepping out as well as you're still demanding a lot from the rear tyres at that stage. Now onto the Wellington straight, we've got Brooklyn's coming up on the left and you look to the right just after the 100 meter board brake there as you feed the car in it tightens up just on the exit and now towards Luffield hug the inside as much as you can that always minimizes the level of understeer that you get a very tricky corner to get right on the exit there use a lot of the curb and now here's the brave stuff coming up towards cops old turn one lift off and back down on the throttle in seventh gear hang on in there on the exit don't use too much of the curb itself and then into the fast left and then right, little feather on the throttle, down two gears into Beckett and down one more gear as well into the final right-hander of this sequence. Early on the throttle, as early as you can because that opens up this straight and it's very important to carry that momentum towards this corner as it is an overtaking possibility come race day. Now down through the gears into Stowe Corner, keep that minimum speed as high as you can to maximize the exit on the run down towards that final section of club down through the gears again into second and flick the car left to right watch out for that wheel spin on the exit though you don't want to lose that traction and that's a lap of Silverstone